Hello friends, in this video we will learn about melting temperature of DNA. To understand melting temperature concept, you should have some basic information in your mind. So, we will start with these basic but important points. We know DNA is double stranded means it has two strands and these two strands contain nitrogenous bases. These nitrogenous bases are with sugar and phosphate molecules in DNA and this is called as nucleotide molecule. Due to presence of phosphate in DNA strand, DNA strands have net negative charge over it as phosphate carries negative charge. To understand this thing better, look at the figure which is there on your screen showing DNA's two strand and nucleotide pairing. Look at the negatively charged phosphate molecules which are at the edge of strand and these blue arrows that are indicating you these phosphate molecules. Now we all know one rule that like charges can't stay close to each other. It is well explained in the figure on screen. Negative negative and positive positive charges are repelling as shown by arrows in the red. Means like charges repel and unlike charges attract each other. It means if two objects are having positive positive or negative negative charges, they can't stay close as we see in magnet. But have you wondered that though DNA strands are negatively charged, means both these strands carry net negative charges, these two strands are close to each other. And moreover, they are highly coiled over each other. They are tangled. How? Have you ever thought and tried to find out the reason? Think. What might be the reason? So, let's see the reason. Now, thing is that these two strands are held by more stronger force than these negative charge force. In DNA, many forces and interactions are present and these forces keep these two strands close to each other despite of their negative charges. Two major forces are there which contribute more in stability of duplex structure, which we will discuss one by one. Number one force is base stacking force or interaction. This is interaction between the stacked bases. In DNA, nitrogenous bases are stacked over each other like a brick in a wall. And due to this specific placement of nitrogenous bases over each other, there is an interaction between them. And for your understanding, you can understand, understand that this is a vertical interaction. And main reason of this interaction is partial charge interaction between the aromatic rings of nitrogenous bases. So, this is base stacking interaction which stabilizes the duplex DNA. Number second interaction is hydrogen bonding. Adjacent nitrogenous bases are held together by hydrogen bonding. Adenine on one strand is paired with thymine present on another strand. And cytosine present on one strand pairs with three hydrogen bonds with guanine present on another strand and vice versa. This is horizontal interaction. Due to these two major forces and some other weak interaction, DNA is stabilized. Now, 
we'll see how dna structure is denatured so when dna is separated from cell and present in a medium in a solution various factors affect it note worthy point is that temperature ph and some chemical agents like organic solvents formamide dmso some acids like acetic acid hcl and some alkali like sodium hydroxide break the interactions and bonding between the nitrogenous bases and thus they cause dna strands to separate from each other and hence double stranded dna is converted to single stranded dna temperature is the most common factor used in laboratory to denature the dna now dna is denatured by the agents like acids alkali ph and temperature but do you know meaning of denaturation in biology it is nothing but the disruption of real native and original conformation of biomolecule so that after denaturation biomolecules don't retain their original real and higher order structure one more word has come in way that is conformation what conformation refers to so conformation in biology is specific structural arrangement of biomolecule now what happens is that when temperature of medium is increased slowly dna starts to lose it, its conformation and so real structure double stranded dna starts to melt that is it denatures and strand separate from each other and at a particular temperature dna reach in a state where its 50% strands are in duplex state coiled over each other and 50% strands are separated from each other that is single stranded and temperature at which this state is reach is called as melting temperature so it is a temperature at which 50% double stranded dna molecule is changed to single stranded molecule melting temperature it is denoted as tm capital t and small m so now look at the figure you can see the double stranded dna in first picture look at the blue arrow suppose it is 10 cm long for your understanding when heat is applied dna start to melt and at 30 degree centigrade 25% dna is melted at 40 degree centigrade 45% dna is melted means 45% dna is in single stranded form and at 48 degree centigrade look at the figure 50% dna is in single stranded form so 48 degree centigrade is tm of dna means 5 cm that is 50% dna is in double stranded form and 5 cm 50% for your understanding is in single stranded form now tm is also called as helix to coil transition temperature because when dna is in its original conformation and state it is present as helix in helical form when melting occurs single strands also coil around themselves but this coiling is random you can understand this well with the example of two ropes imagine you have two ropes and you have tangled these two ropes and coil these two ropes tightly like dna for longer time and then you are slowly separating these ropes these separated ropes do not stay straight 
they make random coil over themselves not with other strand so there is transition of dna state from helix helical form to random coils that is why this temperature is also called as helix to coil tens transition temperature now let's understand detail concept of tm for this remember some key points number 1 dna shows uv absorption peak at 260 nanometer number 2 single stranded dna strands absorbs more uv light than double stranded dna molecule this is very important and key point single stranded dna molecule absorb more uv rays than double stranded dna molecule and this is because reason is that in single stranded dna strands bases are unstacked bases are fully exposed to uv rays and thus they absorb more in single stranded dna bases are exposed fully to uv uv rays that is why single stranded in single stranded dna bases absorb more uv light so remember this key point to understand this better look at the figure which is there on screen this curve is about absorbance of dna molecule at 260 nanometer versus temperature at the beginning dna is fully double stranded look at the arrow blue arrow when temperature is increased slowly dna melting begins at about 55 degree centigrade look at the figure and blue arrow and as temperature increases melting also increases meanwhile you can see tm value where 50% single stranded dna and 50% double stranded dna is present at about 73 to 74 degree centigrade and as temperature goes beyond this tm at a point and melting ends you can observe single strand of dna blue arrow look at the blue arrow observe and understand one thing from this curve look at the y axis as dna is melting absorption of uv rays is also increasing and absorption is maximum when dna has completely single strands after a point there is no increase in absorption because absorption will only be increased till the till all dna in the sample become single stranded and after this there is no increase in absorption as there are no new single strands to absorb more so absorption is constant after a point after all the double stranded dna become single stranded dna so tm value is very useful in various techniques like pcr for hybridization of primers tm value varies with different dna molecules but some factors affect tm value majorly now we'll discuss those factor number 1 factor is guanine cytosine content number 1 factor it is guanine cytosine content remember key point that higher the gc content guanine cytosine content greater the tm value see you know that there is a specific base pairing between nitrogenous bases guanine pairs with cytosine but remember at this point note were the point it is that guanine pairs with cytosine and cytosine pairs with guanine with three hydrogen bonds look at the figure and 
there are only two hydrogen bonds between adenine and thymine so look at the figure so as three hydrogen bonds are there more energy is required to break the gc guanine cytosine bonds so as more energy is required means more temperature is required to break and melt gc bond so if a dna is having higher content of guanine and cytosine then higher energy is required and therefore tm value will be greater so remember higher the gc content greater the tm value of dna molecule now second factor is length of dna molecule key point is that longer the dna higher the tm value simple thing is there if dna is long then more energy and temperature is required to melt it 50% and if dna is short less temperature and energy is needed so remember the key point longer the dna longer the dna strand higher the tm value of that dna strand shorter the dna lesser will be tm value third factor is ionic strength of dna solution remember it is ionic strength of dna solution not dna remember key point higher the ionic strength higher the tm value now what is ionic strength it is nothing but the total ion concentration of a solution we know dna strands are negatively charged in laboratory when we add salts in solution positive ions shields the negative ions of phosphate groups which are there on the dna strand and they neutralize neutralize the positive charges which we add in the solution they neutralize these negative charges which are there on the dna strands and this makes dna more stronger instability so higher the ionic strength more stable will be dna and hence more energy and so temperature is needed now let's see a question what is the percent gc content of dna molecule that is 800 base pair long and has tm 92 degree centigrade what will be the answer to know how to solve this question and other question please watch my next video on numerical problems on tm value please like and subscribe my channel essential biology